morning, Braves, and welcome to today's first special edition of T.O.P. News. I'm Mercedes. And I'm Allison. The homecoming theme for this year has been decided. It's holiday. For all of you candidates, your application needs to be turned in to Mrs. Diaz by Tuesday. Also, there will be a mandatory meeting on Thursday. We'll also be going to Hannah Sells, who has a special report on the Today Show in New York City. We have a special report with Danielle Gallipo about the CN Tower in Toronto, Ontario. Senior pictures have to be taken by Life Touch Prestige by October 29th in order to be in the yearbook. There's also a sports report done by Danny Sue and Chase Lee. Seniors, please check the list in front of your senior English classroom or the cafeteria window to make sure your name is correct for the senior t-shirt. If any changes need to be made, please see Ms. Ansvall in guidance. For all of you in French class, the Epcot seats for the bus and the tickets are open today. Go see Ms. Johnson for more information. Today's Hispanic fact of the day is that 70% of the Hispanic population lives in five states, California, New York, Texas, Florida, and Illinois. Hispanics are also the largest minority in the United States. For all of you first time drivers out there, make sure to take the data class. You can take it online from the school's homepage or you can pick up more information in the guidance office. Now stay tuned for the rest of this episode of T.O.P. News. Wherever you are, shine. Whoever you are, shine. Wherever you are, shine. Whoever you are, shine. Wherever you are, shine. Whoever you are, shine. Hey, hey, I just told you, riding with my top down, with my jury on. Hey, I'm just getting my hood on. I'm just, I'm just doing my thing. I'm just, I'm just, just doing my thing. Mercedes, have you ever been to New York City? No, but I totally want to go. Me too. What do you want to visit the most? Well, I want to go shopping there. I want to see Ellis Island, the Statue of Liberty. There's so much to do there. That sounds like fun, but I've always wanted to see the Today Show. Speaking of the Today Show, our own reporter, Hannah Sells, went and did a report there. So let's go see what she has in store for us. I'm on the set of the second best morning news show around, next to T.O.P., of course. The Today Show. It's been a favorite among viewers for over 10 years. First premiering on January 14, 1952, that makes The Today Show over 50 years old. It attracts millions of visitors each year so they can peer into the windows of a live broadcast. As you can see, my family and I are about to witness the show, so I'll be signing off for now. For T.O.P., this has been Hannah Sells. Did you hear about the high school football player that collapsed on the field? I did. He had just completed a pass before he collapsed. It's crazy. But for more high school sports news, here's Danny Sue and Chase Lee. Good morning, Lee Gibson, and welcome to the Brave Zone. I'm Chase Lee. And I'm Danny Sue. On top news today, we have a kid named Reggie Garrett, who has recently died after making a touchdown pass and was later taken to the hospital. Well, Danny, he has a lifelong history of seizures. This is a very tragic accident that has shocked many people. But on a lighter note, this team has won 27-7. Well, for more local news... Lake Gibson is now 2-1, with the first defeat against George Jenkins. Everyone was on the edge of their seats, but the Braves finally won in the last quarter with a score of 35-34. The second victory takes place against Haines City with a very slow start in the beginning, but a strong finish of 33-14. Lastly, we have the loss against Lake Wales. The Braves did, however, make two touchdowns, finishing the game with a score of 42 to 14, a difference of four touchdowns. Yesterday, Lake Gibson's cross-country team traveled to Ridge Community. On the varsity boys, Jonathan Medina finished seventh place with a time of 19:55. On JV boys, we had Brandon Bauer placing second with a time of 21:25. Fifth place, Tyler Post with a time of 21:47. Ninth place, Anthony Perilla with a time of 23:10. 17th, Preston Janes, 24:56. Overall, the JV boys placed second. 
On JV Girls, we have Cheyenne Matthews placing fourth with a time of 28-26. The team travels to George Jenkins on Tuesday night for the Lakeland City Meet. Well, Lake Gibson, we're looking for another victory tonight against Ridge Community High School. So we hope to see you out there. I'm Danny Sue. And I'm Chase Lee. Finish strong, Lake Gibson. Last week, Danielle Gallipo did a special report from Niagara Falls. And today she has another special report. She is in Ontario at the CN Tower. Let's see what she has to say. The CN Tower is the world's tallest building and Canada's most recognizable icon. However, once the Dubai Tower opens, it will become the second tallest building in the world. The CN Tower is located in the heart of downtown Toronto. And speaking of downtown Toronto, about two million people each year come to the CN Tower to see Toronto's breathtaking views. This building is a whopping 1,815 feet and five inches tall. Some things to do while you're here in the tower is eat in the 360 degree revolving restaurant, walk on the glass platform floors, and look at the great views. Next time you're in the Toronto area, make sure to stop by the CN Tower because it is definitely a once in a lifetime experience. For more information on the CN Tower, you can go to www.cntower.ca. Daniel Gallopo reporting for Takeover Productions. Well, LG, that's all we have for you today. We'll see you Braves bright and early next week for more news. Make sure you come to the game tonight. It's a home game, and we're playing Ridge Community. I'm Allison Leslie. And I'm Mercedes Young. Stay classy like Gibson. Always think you something more.